Hello there, this is not another detecting video, but it is detecting related. In my previous video, which was entitled Metal Detector Finds Gold, Silver and a Satanic Goat, um, I showed you a barreling machine, a tumbler. See, it's still got a lot of green on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chuck some more stuff in there and give it a clean up whilst I'm out today. Here's some of the little stainless steel shapes that you get to put in. Oops, I've lost some. Sorry, Gary. <laughs> I dropped some more of them in. There's already some in there. It's already got a bit of soapy water in there. And then I'm going to put the top on and give it a good barreling whilst I'm away. Right, I'm doing this in my shed because as you can hear, it's quite a noisy process. So I'll check in on this when I get back tonight. The stuff that's in it has been tumbled. And I'm now going to empty it out and take a look to see what we've got. I know there's a few coins in there. Apart from that, I really don't know. Gary put some stuff in there as well out of my bag of shame. I never looked at it before I added more stuff to it. So I honestly do not know what's in here. It's going to be a real voyage of discovery. Look at the filth in there. What I'm going to do is pour that out through this sieve somewhere that is nowhere near any plant that I don't want to kill and we'll see what we've got. That still looks quite filthy rotten so I'm gonna give it a rinse underneath the tap. Wow this is looking pretty good. I like the look of this. Let's take a close look at what's in here. Already I can see that there's some really interesting stuff in here. That's a hammered copper coin. These fellas have still got a little bit of green on them, but it's, it's quite nice toning. They look like furniture fittings. Oh man, there's, there's all sorts in here. Two shillings from 1949. It was actually a half crown from 1950. And of course, with it being after 1947, these all come out looking really orangey and horrible. So, from here, what is that? Oh, 1948. 1948 half crown. No silver in there at all. A year earlier would have been 50% silver. Uh, I don't believe it. If you see an, a post-1947 half crown or crown coming out as silver, it is not silver. Basically, if it comes out looking silvery, in a video, it's been planted. So <laughs> don't believe it for a second. They're all orange, but that's cleaned up pretty well. I dare say, with a little bit of polish, you could you could bring that back to something that was worth, you know, well, at least given away. Maybe it's not having in a collection. That's pretty good. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, I mean, you can see the level of corrosion and absolute knackeredness that's on there. And it's cleaned it up pretty well. You can at least see that it's a George V penny. That one's a little bit better, 1919. So it's not too bad. That one's better again, 1936. And that was really crusty, green and horrible before it went in the tumbler. Yeah, it's pretty well worn that. A lot of them get really knackered in the acidy soils. Oh, hey up, didn't see that. How did I miss that? That's an old uh, threepenny bit. Little secret musket ball there. But we've managed to get a load of musket balls, all nicely cleaned up, into more or less their original state. Lots of modern coinage, which is pretty much just about spendable now. A few furniture fittings. I think that's off a window. Um, that's nice. I did find that on one of my previous hunts. So that's definitely going to go in the display case, possibly along with them. Uh, that's a, quite a nice livery button with a deer on it. Looks like a little copper ring. And I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it's made of copper. I don't know whether it's the front of a button or what. It's possibly a decorative front of a button with somebody's initials on. There's a load of pre-decimal coins here, some of which are still unreadable. But some are pretty good. There's an 1806 halfpenny from George III. It's fairly bent, but you can you can see what it is. With a 
bit of polish on there you might be able to get them looking silver again that's a half crown two florins and a sixpence and these are pennies half pennies oh and a range of other pennies and half pennies three very interesting things that came out are that which I think is a hammered copper coin that which I know is a hammered copper coin I'm pretty sure that's called a bauby although somebody will probably correct me on that I think on that side it would have had a thistle and this thing as well this is probably the highlight of what came out it looks like well I don't know it looks like a French coin maybe Got a dude on a horse it's goldy coloured but I'm pretty sure it's not gold because it was extremely tarnished unfortunately although it looks like it's got a head on that side I can't tell who it is so if anybody has any ideas about that they can let me know I think the date is either 1830 or 1836 so there is just a very quick example of what you can get from your really atrocious finds just by using the tumbler I really want to see what's in that bag of shame this brings it all back to life and there's some great stuff in there thanks for watching